to run through a few key things to think about when you're selecting a dressing for a wound. So the first thing we need to look at is that there's multiple different types of wound healing and wound closures. So one of the things that we need to know about our wound is how are we managing the healing of the wound? So the first type is primary intention. So primary intention is a clean wound with no tissue loss. And usually what you'll find is that the edges are approximated. And so the great example of this is surgical incisions. They make an incision and they open it up and then they simply bring it back together with sutures or staples or maybe glue. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now the second kind is secondary intention. This is where there's been some sort of loss of tissue or it's a jagged wound of some sort. So a great example of this is trauma to the tissue. So the goal with secondary intention is actually to let the wound granulate before we close it. And actually sometimes we'll just let it completely granulate on its own instead of forcing closure like we do with a primary intention. Sometimes you might have just a deep wound. We let it granulate up and grow in itself. That's secondary intention. Now, tertiary intention is where we actually intend to leave the wound open. Now, we either do this because we're going to provide a graft to close it, or we're just going to wait and we close it later. So this actually happens a lot with exploratory laparotomies or X-laps, where we literally open up a patient's abdomen and then just leave it open to help uh, allow the swelling or the drainage to decrease before we close the abdomen altogether. So it could also be just a very large pressure ulcer um, or another wound that requires debridement. So it's a big part of tertiary. We leave it open because we're going to go back in here and take out the dead tissue pretty frequently while we wait for it to close up. So that's tertiary as we actually intentionally leave the wound open uh, so that we can continue to debride. So let's just quickly review the purpose of using dressings for our wounds. It could be to slow or stop some sort of bleeding. We also wanna make sure that we prevent infection in our wounds by providing a barrier between the wound and the outside world. Dressings can also help to absorb drainage, provide debridement for wounds with eschar or slough that needs to be removed. And then lastly, wounds can, dressings can actually help to reduce psychological stress because the patient doesn't actually have to look at the wound because the wound is covered. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.